Hi, DevOps Enterprise Summit. It's great to be here. My name is Matthew Skelton. I'm Manuel Paish. It's nice to be back. And we are the authors of the book, Team Topologies. So we'd like to share with you some, uh, some ideas and experience today. Let me share my screen. So here we go. This is what we'll look at in the session today. We'll look at things from Team Topologies that seem to be working well for organizations around the world. There are some things that are a little bit tricky, a little bit difficult. There are some anti-patterns and trends. And finally, we'll look at some new tools and resources. So to begin with, uh, the things that are really working well, Team Topologies provides a shared language across the organization. The combination of Team Topologies and Wardley Maps is great for strategic thinking. The combination of Team Topologies, Domain-Driven Design, that's DDD, and Wardley Maps is great for thinking about the evolution of technology inside an organization. And the team API concept from Team Topology seems to be really helping teams kind of interact uh, and make things work. Things that are tricky, things that are difficult, assessing team cognitive load, applying product management techniques for platforms, getting to the point where we've got compliance as code for things like security and financial um, um, audit and so on, and also reporting lines and fiefdoms in organizations are always difficult to work with. Some anti-patterns that we're seeing emerge Organizations looking for the correct topology for our, our organization. There isn't one single correct topology. Many organizations do not have enabling teams or don't have enough. Uh, in, in, in kind of conversely, many organizations have too many complicated subsystems or, or component teams. And in some places, we're seeing stream aligned teams kind of providing as an internal service. That's an anti pattern. Some new tools and resources that we've got available our online learning academy. We've now got infographics and diagramming shapes online freely available to use and download. We're starting to expand our cognitive load assessment. And finally, we've got a partner program up and running. So let's just have a quick look first, a recap about who's using Team Topologies. Well, of course, we've got the case studies in the book, companies like Adidas, Ericsson, OutSystems, IBM, U-Switch and TransUnion, and many more. Um, since the book was published, We've got many more examples on the Team Topologies website. Uh, so Cross, Foot Asylum, Gensidiga, Pure Gym, another uh, uh, example from USwitch, and Wealth Wizards. And we've got a whole bunch of organizations that, uh, that uh, Manuel and I have worked with since 2019, since the book was published. Uh, banking, technology, many different government departments around the world, uh, telecoms, open banking, aerospace, healthcare, mortgage, and so on. Loads of organizations are starting to adopt and use Team Topologies ideas. So let's dive into what actually works well. Specifically, this idea of Teams Bodies as a shared language, providing common patterns and kind of operating constraints. And it can help an organization, organization to explore the solution search space for, it, for its kind of technology and services. And particularly this, this idea of Teams Bodies as a kind of clear language with well-defined concepts. This really seems to help. For example, Kathy Keating uh, from, from uh, North America uh, says, so thankful today for the book Team Topologies. It gave me the, just the framework I needed to build a really clear operational growth plan. We hear this kind of thing quite often. Uh, here's a quotation from uh, one of our uh, large government clients. Thank you again for the workshop in January. The long-term effect has been remarkable. It has helped us to agree on a common vocabulary for describing teams and has been adopted as a natural successor of Accelerate. Thank you. So Accelerate being the book uh, in, the published in 2018 by IT Revolution, of course. Let's have a look at the combination of team topologies and Wardley maps. So Wardley mapping being the, the, the approach to, to thinking about kind of technology and business organizational landscape and thinking about what needs to be um, built versus rented versus bought. And we've got a case study on our website from Foot Asylum, a UK based retailer. And they use uh, team topologies to help identify some boundaries and think about their business domain and what things should sit in the platform and so on. But crucially, they combined this with Wardley mapping to help them think, well, what things should we expect to build ourselves? What things should we expect to consume as a service? What, and thinking about how different aspects of their kind of technology and software landscape should, uh, should uh, be situated now and, and Think they, it helped them to think about how they're going to evolve those and where they should uh, where they should uh, place them. Should they build internally? Should they pull from outside and so on? Um, so it, it provided the clarity of purpose around the kind of team types, 
and, and what those teams should be doing, what they should be focusing on, what kind of capabilities they should have. Um, so this combination with, of teams, bodies and worldly mapping has really helped them to uh, move things forward. Uh, so a quick thank you to, to uh, Paul and Andy from uh, for Asylum for, uh, for that. The combination of team topologies, domain-driven design, that's DDD, and Wardley maps, seems to be really uh, gaining traction. And that's because these, these three techniques are complementary. In particular, uh, Suzanne Kaiser, uh, who's the former CTO at a, at a, a cloud company, and has got a particular focus on kind of monolith to microservices transition, has talked a lot about um, the combination of domain-driven design and worldly mapping, but also now talks about the addition of team topology uh, principles in there uh, to help organizations think about their technology choices, where they're going from a strategic direction, which team should focus on which things, and for how long. So there's a great talk, uh, which is linked on, on the slide there uh, from Suzanne. The team API is a concept we talk about quite a bit in the Teams Apologies book. Uh, just a quick reminder, it's a description of everything that the team does from the, the perspective of outside the team. So it's, it's something that describes the code and artifact provided by the team, how they work, practices, principles, communication channels, and what their current and next focus is to help other groups in the organization kind of interact. So we're taking an engineering concept like API and applying it to a, a, a human group, the team. Um, and we've got a template on our GitHub repository there. So here are a couple of quotations. Uh, Joe Wright um, said, I just read the team API.